Are you among the hundreds of millions of people using Zoom to stay connected while you're stuck at home? Well, now privacy issues surrounding the video conferencing platform have come to light. The FBI issuing a warning last week about so-called Zoom bombing incidents. And organizations, including the New York City Department of Education, have banned the platform. The company's chief executive acknowledged last week that the company had fallen short of privacy expectations and new safeguards have been put in place. In a statement, a Zoom spokesperson said, quote, we recently changed the default settings for education users enrolled in our K-12 program to enable virtual waiting rooms and ensure teachers are the only ones who can share content in class. Effective April 5th, we are enabling passwords and virtual waiting rooms by default for our free basic and single pro users. All right, let's bring in tonight's A-plus panel, Republican strategist Allison Young back with us. Good to see you, Allison. Thanks, Bill. And defense attorney David Clark. Good to see you, David. Hey, Bill. Good to be here. All right, Allison, I know uh, we'll start with you on this. I know you are becoming, fast becoming, I should say, a Zoom expert. So what are your thoughts? I mean, to me, this doesn't surprise me. Who knew Zoom would explode like this and all of a sudden have to accommodate hundreds of millions of people effectively overnight? It doesn't surprise me at all. You know, we've seen hacking of every system that becomes overused or becomes uh, in vogue that people are using. The thing that surprises me here is that um, places like schools have been so slow to act. So I think New York City schools is doing the right thing. But I will tell you that uh, my daughter's school is still using Zoom three or four times a day. And it's a huge concern among the parents' groups. It's maybe too soon to leave Zoom entirely, but as their revenues go up, go up everyone's flooding to Zoom, then mm -hmm. they have to put some of that back into privacy concerns. I think this is a little different, Bill, because it's, um, you know, when we're talking about these stories, it's impacting our kids in places where we worship. And in a time like this, when there's so many great things happening out there and people coming together, this feels unnecessarily intrusive and harmful. And I think it's just caught too many people off guard and people are angry about it. And I think that's real. I don't know though, using those words on my list of intrusive and, uh, and what's been challenging and difficult, this is not at the top of my list these days. Thanks guys, appreciate you, David, Allison. Now let's go to a security and fraud expert, friend of the show, Bob Strang, who is former FBI and DEA special agent. Bob, welcome back to Chasing News, how are you? Good, Bill. Under the circumstances, as best as can be. I mentioned earlier this uh, Shabbat that was conducted online via this platform, Zoom, and you know someone allegedly hacked in, and uh, not just a case of anti-Semitism, uh, which was grotesque and harmful to a lot of people, but beyond that, how do groups like that, uh, you know, religious organizations, students, how do they protect themselves from this kind of hack? And you, you just don't want to make it like a party line, like an open call, because in essence, it, it's like having an 800 number where you're saying to people um, on the internet, you're, we're available to talk to, you join us if you'd like. Um, this is going to happen unless you keep it private um, and try to keep it private and, and really check on those IDs, you're going to have this kind of situation. Anytime that we're out there on the internet, anytime that we're discussing, just like you and I are talking now, Bill, this, this is available for other people. There are hackers out there that are very good at, at, at getting into uh, a situation like this, even when we know that we're the only ones on the screen. So be careful, be aware. Move forward. Thank you, Bob. Great to talk to you. We'll talk soon for sure. Thank you, Bill.